welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I share crafts and DIYs, home decor projects, organizational ideas, and craft business tips. Make sure you hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. So for today's DIY, I am going to be sharing with you how you too can create these cute and adorable gnomes to decorate in your home. I made these for Valentine's Day, but you can make them for any season. A lot of the materials I picked up from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to share with you exactly how you two can make these adorable little gnomes. They are super fun, and you can dress them up however you want. You can even put arms on them, legs, or just leave them as they are with a beard and a cute little button nose. They are super lightweight, so they don't take up a lot of weight or space in your home. So I'm going to flip the camera around. Let's get started. Okay, so to get started making the gnomes, what you're going to need is to gather up supplies. Now this is a different tutorial than some of the gnomes you have seen out there that might be made by other different crafters or makers. So while I was shopping at the Dollar Tree, I came across a couple different items that I thought that would be great to put together to make a gnome. So today I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. When I was at the Dollar Tree, which most of the items I have here today are from the Dollar Tree, I picked up some of these party hats, which is obviously going to make the top part of the gnome. And I also picked up some of these little paper party cups. Now these were in the New Year's section, but you could probably find a different variety of these cups or something similar. If you can't find these, then what you can do is take a regular cup and cut it down to about this size. So this is going to be the larger gnome, and what I like about these cups is that it has the bottom on it so that you can have a base or something. You can even put some rocks or some weights in here to kind of help hold the gnome um, down or to give it a little bit more weight. And then I also picked up some of these um, like paper mache type of flower pots and you get uh how many is it that you get 12 of these in a package so you could easily um make little gnomes and they're kind of stuck together really good so make sure you pull them apart but you could easily make a bunch of little gnomes out of these which i will show you how to do that in a second or you could take like three or four of them and stack them to get a little bit more height and have a taller, skinnier gnome, which you will see just in a second, um, some ideas for making that. Then the other things that you're going to need is something for a nose. You could simply do a pom-pom, um, like a puff, like a cotton puff, or a wood bead like this. And then the last thing that you need is some embellishments. And I have these lying around in my um, scrapbooking stash from when I used to make different cards. So just to kind of give you an idea, use what you have. You might surprise yourself what you might have in your stash. You could use little things like a button. These are little bows and little ribbon bows that I had to use for card making. And you could easily go to any craft store and find like a package that has a mixture of things like this in it if you don't have anything like that. This is just what I have lying around to embellish and decorate my gnomes. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get started with making the gnomes. The last thing that you're going to need is fabric and felt. So I have some felt here that I have in my craft um, stash. Now I have two different kinds of felt. These two sheets of felt actually have a tacky sheet on the back of them, which is really, really nice. They give the felt, first of all, a stiff structure or base. 
And when it comes to making gnomes, using a adhesive bat felt is great because it doesn't require any glue. You can just pull this sticker back and stick it directly to the item or the object that you are using the felt on and it has a pretty good stick to it. Now this particular felt is from um, Cicero and it's called Fun felt fun fuzzies and just to kind of give you an idea i have two of these fun felt fuzzies pack they are by cicero which i will link down below in the description and this the one that has the sticky back is the tack fuzzies and it's adhesive felt sheets and what's really great about these kits is first of all these boxes that they come in are super handy when it comes to storing all of your felt and you can see like i have tons of sheets here so i'm gonna have lots of fun making all kinds of things with this felt the second one is just a regular felt fuzzies sheet, which is what these um, sheets came into. They are a little bit stiffer of a felt piece. And actually this last one back here, this one is not part of the brand, but it's just a similar color, so I pulled it out. You can see I used a piece of it. This is from a different project. But the Cicero brand has these nice felt sheets in there and they're kind of stiff so they are great for crafting and all kinds of projects and again look at the variety of colors you get all in one box it's fairly inexpensive and i will link that down below so if you want to get some felt like this just to have on hand for projects like this then um check it out i will put the link down below all right so i'm going to go ahead and get started with making the gnomes Okay, so first up, what I did was I took one of the party hats, removed all of the string from it, and I actually went around at the seam, took some scissors, and cut about one inch slits all the way around, and then bent out every other one, and took one of those little party cups, the paper party cups, and hot glued it down into where it met with the party hat, the same diameter. And then you can see here, the flaps are kind of like sticking out and over, and I kind of wanted it that way on purpose so that I could hot glue each tab down and you can see here I'm gluing every other one so that when I go back and glue the ones that I skipped they can kind of over overlap and hug the hat so once I did that I took the uh, fabric that I wanted to use to cover up the base of my gnome or to make the clothing of my gnome and for this I'm using a Target um, dollar spot beanie hat. I just really loved the colorful stripes that it had and so I could get um, not only the body out of this hat and you can see here I'm showing you a clip of the hat and then the actual Valentine's fabric that I had planned to put together. So once I cut it I just kind of made sure it was kind of even. I started gluing it all around my party hat here to kind of make the shirt or the base of my gnome because I really liked this striped pattern. I wanted this to be the pattern or the clothing sweater for the gnome that he was going to be wearing so you'll see in just a little bit how I actually used this um, same pattern or the same beanie fabric the leftover pieces to make arms so once you have everything glued down and you can see I kind of did it real snugly here just gluing a little bit at a time making sure to like lay it all down so it's nice and smooth you can run a um, bead of hot glue um, down the fabric and you can see here I made a seam first and this just kind of gave it a nice edge or look to the back of the gnome. You're not really going to see the back but I wanted to make sure that it still looked pleasing to the eye. So when I got done gluing it all the way around I went and purposely left a little bit of fabric overhang on the bottom so that I could tuck it down for the bottom piece so it's all snug. Then I took a piece of that mint felt that I had and I used the stiff felt for this one because I wanted his hat to be 
straight up and down and you can see I tested it first and then remembered that I needed to do the beard first so I didn't mention this in the beginning but you do need to get some kind of faux fur that you can use for the beard and this was a pale pink fur that I found at my local craft store you can find this anywhere you can find it on Amazon which I can link down below and you can get just about any color gray white pink whatever and so I cut it in just to a beard shape <laughs> I don't even know if that's a shape but you can just um, cut it into kind of like an oval and then I kind of clipped the corners and I just started gluing it on at the top I kind of did like a smile shape just so that it was kind of snug and then I started playing with the fur to kind of make it look like a mustache and then the rest of it hanging down to be like a shaggy beard and you can see that here then I just cleared a section in the beard like in the middle where his nose would go and made a spot to where I would glue the nose and I'm actually trimming the beard here so I had a little too much fur I used a wooden bead for this gnome and I really liked the chunky off-colored wood for his nose you can do whatever you want you can do a palm or you could do a wooden bead it's completely up to you and then I just did a little bit more trimming on the beard back to the hat what I did was size this hat first to see how it was going to go and then I tried to kind of shape how I wanted it and I ended up cutting a little bit of the corners off which I will use for the mittens on this gnome and then played around with it and I'm not going to lie to you this took a little bit of maneuvering and playing with before I actually got confident to start gluing it down I kind of wanted it to sit down on the back of the gnome but not too far down that it covered the nose but I did like it up to the nose if that makes any sense so you can see here I started with the nose first because that was the front and center and then I gradually just started adding my glue and gluing it down I actually had to change out hot glue guns here because the battery died in my Ryobi that I just got for Christmas I seriously love that glue gun I will link it down below just make sure you put it back in the charger I've used it so much I forgot to charge it so here I am finishing up the hat, and I just started gluing and folding, gluing and folding, tucking it in to make that cone shape. And I kind of played around with how I wanted it to look. First I glued it down flat at the top and then together to make that point shape. And to kind of hide the fact that it crinkles up there, I added a hot pink palm that I had, which I will show you in a little bit. Now for the legs and arms, I wanted to show you what I did with those extra corners that I originally cut off to make the hat. I cut out two, uh, actually four shapes to look like a mitten. And I'm going to make this the hands of the gnome, so I will show you exactly how I did that. And then using some of the leftover beanie, um, I cut some strips like this. And then I took a uh, pipe cleaner and cut it to about half. and hot glued it down into my little strips of my fabric or the beanie hat like the sweater material and what this does is it's actually creating the arms and I just took it glued it rolled it took it and glued some more and then rolled it to make the hand then I went and clipped off the leftover pipe cleaner and use my mitten shapes to kind of glue the mittens onto place on the very end tip there of the pipe cleaner. I wanted the arms to be bendable and movable and be able to shape them when I displayed the gnome so I just thought a pipe cleaner would do the trick and you can see here I made two of those um, and then just kind of tucked and glued them along the side of where the arms would be and glued it sort of in there beside the beard if that makes sense so you can see that's what I'm doing here and then once the arms were in place you can shape them however they want I just think they're super cute his little mittens match his hat then using some uh, dollar spot embellishments that I got from the Valentine section at Target dollar spot I took some of this um, I don't know if this is like a ribbon or it's like a palm beaded ribbon, but I glued it on the edge and then there was some glitter felt stickers and I did the same thing to his hat. Next up, I took some Dollar Tree uh, of those like craft paper 
um, biodegradable or like disposable planter pots. They're kind of like a cardboard. And I took some more felt and glued it around. And I just completely did this randomly here. It's not even the perfect shape. Like there's excess felt. It's not even smooth, but I kind of wrapped it to make that cone and then trimmed it. And this is to make one of the smaller gnomes um, that you saw in the beginning of the video. So this is to kind of give it that shape. Now you can trim off the top or you can leave it there to kind of help build it. On the bottom, I did the same technique where I cut strips and then folded this over in order to give it um, a little bit smoother, nicer edge. And this kind of helps make the little pot itself a little bit more sturdier, a little bit more substantial to stand up wherever you might be displaying it. Um, I couldn't decide if I was gonna tuck that down or leave it up. So last up for this one, I decided to take this Valentine's Conversation Hearts fabric that I had in my craft stash. I'm sure you can find it at any local craft store or something similar. And I just kind of cut it into that same shape that I did for the felt to make a cone shape. Now what I did for this was I took two pipe cleaners and cut it down into four pieces and then glued them into the fabric. And this was so that I could shape the hat of the gnome. Before I attached the hat though, I did go back and get some white fur for this gnome and cut it into that bearded oval shape and glued it on in place and then I um, took a palm or actually no I used a bead for this one and put this into place to be his nose and secured that down and then just kind of tucked a little fur on the edges there where the hole was of the bead so that you could not notice that this was a bead and make it look more like a nose. And then again I did some trimming. So now back to the hat what I did was kind of looked where I wanted the hat to be and then having the pipe cleaners glued inside the fabric actually just makes it so much easier to shape the hat to still give it some height but yet still keep it um, kind of pointed upwards. If it was just the regular fabric without the pipe cleaner it would kind of droop over and I wanted it to have a little bit more shape than that. So um, this was a really good um, technique that you might want to use if you are also creating a gnome hat. And you can see I'm doing the same thing here where I just kind of fold it and glued it. And then I put some glue on the edge and then attached the hat and then went back to finish off the top where it goes into that cone shape with just a little bit of hot glue and rolling and gluing as I go. Once that was complete, I just started shaping the hat in the direction that I wanted it to go and pinched it together and added a palm at the top to kind of show that uh, side um, hat kind of being bent over. So you can do it either way. You can have a hat pointing straight up with like a stiff piece of felt or you can do the pipe cleaner in the fabric technique and have a little gnome like this. I think it's super cute, super durable. I really love the way these turned out. For that bigger gnome, I just used some uh, embellishments again from the Target dollar spot to hang a little banner in that gnome's little mitten hands. I think these are super cute the way they turned out. You'll have to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. In this little clip, you can see I made a fourth gnome that kind of has a shaggy, bushier beard, and it is actually made of yarn, which I will go over on how you can make a beard for a gnome using yarn instead of fur. Basically, you'll want to find whatever thick yarn that you can find at your local craft store and then using about a five by seven picture frame wrap the yarn around it lengthwise about 25 maybe 50 times I'm not sure how many times I did it here but enough to make it look where you're like okay that's thick enough then take another piece of the yarn and tie it in um, one section so that it's all together and this is actually going to be the base of the beard which keeps it together then once you have that you're going to want to cut the other end so that what you're left with is this giant yarn tassel then using your fingers unravel the 
uh, interwoven pieces of the yarn. You're gonna have to do this to every piece. And you can see here, I did it, took a little break, came back and then did a little bit more. And then kind of like comb through, making it as shaggy as possible. Then um, make sure you flip it over, do the other side. You can even use like um, a hairbrush even to try and comb some of it out. Just be careful that you don't pull the yarn out of your tied piece at the top. I used my scissors to kind of help make this look a little shaggy and I really love the way it came out. Again, here's all three of the gnomes that I showed earlier with the faux fur, which I absolutely love and is probably my favorite way to make a beard with the gnomes. Or you can do the shaggy one like it's pictured here. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Visit me at craftylifemom.com for free tutorials, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.